<laughs> but you've known. <laughs> that, that's gonna, that was good. That's gonna. That's gonna come down really well. This <laughs> is the podcast. Welcome to Chris Fuller's the third podcast, and we've One, got two, a new member three. to introduce to you that wasn't on the other podcasts. Exactly. So <laughs> say hello to Tom. Kick off, Kellen. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to say kick ass then, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. kick ass, Kellen. <laughs> um, and so Tom's our new bass player, but he's also the guitar player in From Me Into Exile, and we thought we'd ask him a couple of questions. That we already know the answers to. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't. So, Tom. What's your what? girth? <laughs> God, Tom. Not spring oh. gauge. It's <laughs> Liam's floor, Tom. Techniques. <laughs> like, oh, they named, they named <laughs> drums after me. Oh, Tom. We're That's not, awesome. not going to go with measurements or anything, but it must be vast. <laughs> <laughs> so... You're a guitarist first and foremost. Where did you um, when, where, and when did you first start playing guitar, Tom? Uh, oh, I think I was twelve, eleven, eleven. So Le- he knows week, more than then. me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> last week. Yeah. You, you got the guitar before my twelfth birthday. Oh, so thanks 11. for thanks yeah. for knowing that, Liam. Um, uh, my yeah. drums were on my twelfth birthday. Yeah, yeah. So it was quite a while ago now. So I don't, yeah, remember, 20, I don't remember your name being Liam. That's twenty eighteen <laughs> years. 20 years. 31 now, mate. Oh, fuck. I oh, know. Mm. Oh, wow. But, um, yeah, yeah, my old dear bought me at Bless Her. She, well, on the day, actually, she, because uh, we it was a bit of a tough time at that point. Um, so she, she rocked up on my birthday and she had a McDonald's Aww. and it was cold and she was like, Sorry, son. Like this is all I can I can afford. It's all I can get you. And I was like, No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Got a little weeping. Yeah, and I, I sat there and ate me really cold McDonald's. <laughs> and um, yeah, then she comes out with his guitar and an, an amp, and I literally just sat there for ages, just doing nothing, absolutely yep. nothing. Mm. As you looking did. like you, can yeah, fly, sounding like you can. So what, is, what, what inspired you to play the guitar? Was it something you'd asked for? Um, it was, yeah, because yeah, it's the cold McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can't have another cold one. I better earn some money oh, as a famous yeah, guitar player. Yeah. I'm just going to have warm <laughs> food. Get a warm one on the road. But, um, no. <laughs> yeah, I'd never get one on the road hours before, mate. No, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Fast food my ass. <laughs> They're all bloody well shut by the time we're finished. They are, actually. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on with the 24-hour bloody... No, look, we're going off topic. <laughs> <laughs> never no, mind that. No, I think it's no, a permanent no, issue. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's the reason I started playing, though. It's very important. Sorry. No, high, high. I was uh, actually. I used to go um, in Ketter into the Swan. Stab his arms. I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was the Swan. <laughs> like Sorry, Ketterin. Um, <laughs> used, he used to put some like pretty cool gigs on. There was a band called Torsion at the time. Okay. Many, many years ago. That was amazing. And they were awesome. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Um, and I think the guitarist went on to be in Heaven's Basement. Cool. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So going, I used to go over to my old man's in Kettering and uh, yeah, I used to go and watch some bands and whatever. And straight away, I was like, that's what I want to do. Um, and then, yeah, on my 11th birthday, got my guitar and a cold McDonald's. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, there you are. <laughs> that's how it works. It is. So, like, cold McDonald's is your inspiration for doing it all. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. Like manky cardboard chips that are freezing. Yeah, that's it. It's well, like, a I, fast I, fret though, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I mean, the only reason I joined this is because you offered me a Subway, a cold Subway. Oh, there you go. Yeah. A meatball marinara that had been absolutely... Sort of, Scooped out yeah. of a gutter. Well, yeah. this is fair yeah. play. I've heard you do like a bit of the old saucy balls. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely putting a drum sample on that. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I don't sit next to you in the van. Anyway. Well, I'm not going to give you my saucy balls. <laughs> <laughs> but you've known. <laughs> that, that's gonna, that was great. That's going to that's gonna come down really well. <laughs> you need to get some reverb on that now. <laughs> 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 if you sampled every heavy metal vocalist of all time and put it all into yeah. one, that would be it. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, Eddie? Oh. I was going to say, you've obviously known Liam a few years. Um, 
<laughs> but you lost the lung. <laughs> <laughs> You've obviously been playing with Liam for quite a few years, haven't you? Long. So, yeah. It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> yeah. you can't talk about I that. believe what they say. You can't yeah. talk about outside of court. No. This is it. serious. He's got rough hands. <laughs> Super serious. <laughs> oh. So anyway, so you and Liam have obviously been friends for a lot of years, haven't you? Yep. And you've been playing in bands. So tell us what on earth made you want to talk to our drummer in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, geez, I don't want to talk to him. Um, well. Did you go to school with each other? Yeah. yeah. Well, when I first went over to Daventry. Uh-huh. Daventry. Davistan. Um, Davistan. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what was I then? It was probably only like nine, I think then. Um, well, but we, was it, oh, was we're it at the Grange. Confused. Was it you or Mark that came first? <laughs> oh my God. Oh that, my we weren't going to talk about that either. Yeah. No, uh, the band auditions are different over there, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> sort of Soggy casting biscuit. couch. <laughs> year five or year so- six, you joined. Yeah. 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 yeah, the socks. Yeah, the socks. You joined, weren't it? Um, yeah. Dav. So, uh, kind of met him at school, had no friends and whatever, and then just ended up hanging around with him because he was a loser as well. You were so very unfortunate, mate. Yeah. <laughs> very um, unfortunate. And then when we got to. Um, secondary school, secondary right? school, yeah. He was obviously into at the time like Green Day and all that kind of shit, weren't you? And yeah, Incubus and all that sort of stuff. Um, I and a bit of Incubus, mate. Yeah, no, like that's band, it. Yeah. Band, yeah. Um, and then yeah, I got my guitar, and Before you didn't I even have a drum kit. He used to come round my house and hit Saucepans. literally, yes. Saucepans, blooming uh, well, boxes. Yeah. Blooming. I think I said blooming. Blum- 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 yeah. <laughs> Cold yeah. McDonald's boxes. Cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah not the warm. And who wants to be, be a millionaire? Uh, box was my bass drum, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little uh, card game, whatever it was, yeah. yeah. Irony. Yeah. And we're still, still not there, are we? It's not worked out for me. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah. Um, who wants to be a penniless fucking. Swatting a band. But yeah, and then we just kind of carried on, didn't we? And started up a couple of bands that were. Yeah. So, what was your terrible. first band? What was the first band was you did? Traction. Don't say it again, Neil. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You've already made that joke. Ah, I don't want to say it again. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> and were you, what were you doing? Covers? Did it go you? anywhere? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Oh, yeah, it was Traction, weren't it? That yeah. Was, that was just a little. Well, that was our first. But that was our yeah. first taste of like recording as well, because we did. Oh, it was, yeah. Two tracks? Three? We did do two, no two tracks. Yeah. Two, yeah. Were these your, were these your tracks or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we've ne- never done covers as such. Yeah, don't do that, mate. Uh, well, not in live bands. We did do it for school project ones, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about that. What did you cover? Oh, everything, mate. <laughs> Snow Patrol, Green Day, Blink, Nirvana. Who else? Yeah. Other All stuff. the real heavy shit. Right? Yeah. The heavy hitters. Yeah. yeah. It was for like an enterprise thing at work, at work, at school, weren't it? Yeah. Um, where you gotta like make a business and try and sell. So naturally we were, ah, oh, well let's try and sell a CD that we recorded off our mate's karaoke machine with one mic hanging off the conservatory roof. <laughs> Pure <laughs> plagiarism, though. So we were actually yeah. selling it for money. If it was other people's yeah. songs. Yeah. Yeah. We could have told you wouldn't get any money <laughs> recording yeah. a CD. Yeah. Yeah. We sold one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, that's kind of and yeah. The business how it idea plummeted. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go very well, mate. It was tapes, weren't it? Tapes. It was tapes, yeah. yeah. Oh, Had to yes. sit there and bloody wow. re- re-record it onto another tape. Yeah, Great. back Brutal. in the day, back in the day. So you done traction? Yeah, and then we did. Uh, I suppose that was when I started getting more into like metal and stuff, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. So I think the first I'm gonna get laughed at. Um, first like metal album I bought was actually Trivium. Um, Ascendancy, which is oh, a fucking look. awesome album. Yeah, I don't care what you say. I'm weird. Ascendancy, just everybody, brilliant everybody's album. gonna start somewhere. <laughs> yeah, brilliant album. Yeah, <laughs> do, you can get mocked, mate. It just seems so like recent history. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the first thing I bought was it's an old album. album it's like, it? fucking hell. Yeah, it's been thriving. I've had a mortgage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Wow. When was that? Uh, well, that album that? came out oh five. Oh, five? Yeah. 2005. Yeah. Fuck, you know, like, yeah. I was already a long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I've still got, I've got white hair by then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I already decided I wasn't going to like any new music before that point. So. <laughs> yeah. That was it. 
to be fair, I've been in that boat yeah. and still currently yeah. rowing yeah. that canoe. You've got your own ark. I so have. What was, <laughs> so, so with no CDs in it. So you, you, you got your first metal album, which was Trivium. So what was the band that followed that, that you, you obviously sort of, that inspired you to go towards a more heavy Um, I mean, direction. we, the band we started after that was a bit kind of like kill switchy, wasn't it? A bit like metalcore or whatever. But then after that, when it got a, basically a bit more serious and I really started practicing a lot more and mm. um, was surprisingly Silosis. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I saw them at Bloodstock. Yeah, they were wicked. But, yeah. Absolutely wicked Unbelievable band. band. Yeah. And when I first got into them, they were, I mean, Josh Middleton was still like a teenager, I think. Um, I first heard them on MySpace. Christ. Um, and yeah. they played a show in Banbury, which is not too far from Daventry. And yeah, absolutely love them. Mm. Um, yeah. Just, Uber tight, obviously shreddy, and yeah, obviously yeah, over I mean, the years they've just gone up and up and up, and yeah. And a, bit, a little bit of fun trivia for you. Uh, many moons ago, when Noel and myself were in Gutworm, Silosis used to support us. <laughs> just goes to show, don't give up on your dreams. <laughs> 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 when you're ancient and decrepit, you might actually enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, of course, like, they were everything that you just said. They were yeah, absolutely yeah. nailed to oh, it. Yeah. He, also re- he also reckons that their new album is going to be the heaviest, most brutal thing they've done. Everybody That's what he said. That. Yeah, yeah but this that. is what he said before. He, like, pre- he, he, he prefaced it with liar. the fact that <laughs> yeah, yeah. he said that every band says this, but this is an actual fact, the truth, that they've gone for something that's so... Like it, I'm, I'm expecting great things from yeah. you. Yeah, proof yeah, in yeah. the pudding, mate. So there no, you go. there's it. a shout out for silosis. You didn't have to pay for that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Josh. Bring it on, Josh. Yeah. Um, what did you do after yeah. That? Well, that was, was I that? suppose after that. That was like the when we joined play? Apparitions, weren't it? Oh, and it was Apparitions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Apparitions of the End, which is like a little thrash outfit from Banbury. Um, me and you both joined that, didn't we? Did you join first? Uh, yeah, I joined um, Mike. A bit like this band. Yeah. Right. I just follow him around follow with a bad yeah. smell. <laughs> You're like Lost a sheep, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> That's me, mate. <laughs> Where am I? That's why you've never played in Wales, then. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go there. Yeah, Go I joined... Uh, Get off my mountain. I joined <laughs> Mike, didn't I? Because we were going to have that thrashy band with him. And then, obviously, got you on board with that. Yeah. So... And then we started our own thing, which was... Eden. Then Eden, yeah. That was the early days of which Eden. Is... So we didn't actually really do anything with it. It was a lot more thrashy back then, wasn't it? Yeah. Like in the very early days. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And then things kind of moved on a little bit from there as yeah, well. Yeah. And we How came and recorded Oh, I mean... I don't know. There's shot seven on the trot. Was, <laughs> that brings us more of a thing sort of bang up yeah, date. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the yeah. first gig that um, Chris Forever did was with From Eden to Exile. Mm. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah. Which yeah. brings us on to the fact that it's our 10 year anniversary. Mm. Um, this year, time, this th- tw- 10 years ago, we started Chris Fuller. Well, you um, two did. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that's when it all that's when yeah. it all kicked off. I mean, that is when, I mean, that, that's when we first uh, did uh, the first couple of tracks that mm. we appeared on. Um. <laughs> No CDs ever. No CDs ever. <laughs> 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 what what we, called? <laughs> we were called, what were we called originally? Thousand Points. A thousand, a thousand points, points of, of Light, light yeah. originally. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, I mean, we're playing, we're playing the Roadbender on the 23rd of September, and it's going to be like a celebration of those mm. 10 years. So, we've got um, a couple of surprises. Um, to bouncy uh, castle, yeah. yeah, ice cream and jelly, <laughs> clown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna play <laughs> special clown. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna play a track. Don't sit on his lap. <laughs> we're gonna play. A track Take him a off. week to get the shit stains out. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we're gonna play a track off of um, one of the albums um, that has never ever been played before. Mm. So that's that's a for a start, and there might be something else. And there will also be a song that's never ever. Been played before ever, ever, or, or, ever. Ever. or heard. heard, or heard. Yeah, it, it, a brand new song essentially. Mm. Well, that is that is as long as we got lyrics. Otherwise, it'd be an instrumental. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be very impromptu instrumental. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so when we play the uh, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> the gig. So when we play <laughs> the Road Mender gig on the twenty third of September, we will have a new T shirt. 
and it will make you at least 15% more sexy. So, <laughs> <laughs> sell it. So, really, Stop. truthfully, start saving your pennies now. It's it's literally like links on legs. <laughs> Wears t-shirts legs on legs. On legs. <laughs> <laughs> legs. <laughs> I'm leaving it now. That's it. That's perfect. <laughs> Let's leave that. But yeah, so oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it more or less coincides with the whole from into exile and Crystal thing. Sort of, we kind of we played together an awful lot, and 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 mm-hmm. and then, now here intertwined. we are as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, like I said it before as well. Like obviously recorded with Neil and just known you guys anyway for. Well, since the beginning, wasn't it? Well, it's not, I mean, that's first years, show. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah, not only that years. as well. Um, I mean, we're playing with Stormbringer, mm-hmm. and uh, your bass player from From Me Into Exile, Mike Bell, is now in those as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just shows what... Um, what uh, Incestuous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was going to say family orientated. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Incestuous. Yeah. It's a game of But incestuous is, it is. But yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess it's the same in all music scenes or across the country sort of thing. But sort of like, like-minded individuals tend to gravitate mm. towards yeah, each other, don't they? Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's 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 where we are with it at the moment. I mean, we've, we're sort of like we're going to celebrate our ten years. We've got other things in the pipeline as well. I think we're going to do a new album in the new year as well, aren't we, Mister Hudson? No, I've changed my mind. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> not going to do it. We're not doing anything next <laughs> we're gonna year. We're going to do some oil painting. Ooh, yeah. nice. Nice. We're all going to get a brush and daub it on some fucking canvas and uh, perfect. Do that instead. There's no new music. Just abstract oil paintings from everyone. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I can't wait to see Liam's. His imagination's pretty special. <laughs> yeah, probably can't air it though. No. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the stuff I've done in the Yeah, <laughs> that's still online actually as well. Don't it tell is. anyone where it is. Yeah. They'll only allow me to have crayons. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying mine would be like the scene from the start. Well, <laughs> yeah, I want to know now. Black. Black. <laughs> I want to know. I need to look at those. I'll, I'll only lick the paint. It, it's literally uh, paint, isn't it? On yeah, it's, yeah. On, it's on Windows, but it's standard brilliant. paint. So Mate, good. honestly, I'm an artist. So good. I need to see this. We think you are an artist, artist. Yes. I need to see this. <laughs> Do album cover sort anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, just quickly, what do we think about Tech Fest? Oh, that was oh, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. We played Tech Fest. Yeah. Uh, it was awesome show. First to be fair, yeah. yeah. For, uh, us, I think first and foremost, I think it's fair to share. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. fair to say that it was an absolutely brilliant vibe, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just a that's the best thing yeah. about it. A really so good setup was awesome, wasn't so it? So intimate, yeah. but yeah. bigger at the same time. They just give so. every band an opportunity as well to like get a maximum amount of people because they mm. do the flip flopping, don't they? So yeah, yeah you, no can, you can almost yeah. guarantee a good yeah. crowd there. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, we were on quite early, but we had a, we had a pretty. I thought we had a pretty decent crowd to be yeah, fair. It was a circle yeah. pit. Yeah. Per circle pits and head banging going on and stuff like that. And, and, and to be fair, lots of people came to see us afterwards on the merch stand as well. Yeah. But the, I, I thought the whole thing was it was great. In fact, I, mm. I, I am going to go next year. Mm. It's a, a great punter. setup, isn't it? Yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. the way they've got it and where they ho- hold it, actually, sort of, the, the two are a marriage made in heaven, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. there's yeah. very few places oh, yeah. that work like that. And it doesn't matter whether it rains because it's all inside and... You've pretty much got hard standing everywhere apart from the camping areas, but then there's roads through them. So mm. you're not going to get a bog fest if you've got shite weather. Mm-hmm. But also, if it's glorious sunshine, it's not ridiculous either because you're actually out of the sunshine, mm. although you are in a metal shed. <laughs> yeah. How, uh, however, but you're out the, it, you're out the, mm. the vibe is rain, perfect. Yeah. Everything well, yeah, is I found it was uh, 30 uh, seconds walk away from each yeah, other. Yeah. After, we, after we'd finished playing, I went up and visited some people in the tents and stuff, and the vibe there was really cool out in the camp. In, in they didn't the camp. know him, he just turned up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like, come in. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they just saw a vagabond and decided to, to <laughs> feed and clothe me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bottle of whiskey. I didn't give fair. I didn't give fair. I didn't give fair. No, I thought it was cool. Um, it's a wicked vibe. Well done, Simon and team. Yes. 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 Definitely done. Top, Brilliant. Top top fest. Awesome. So we, 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 we've got the Roadmender gig coming up. Um, we've also got um, DC Attacks as well, which has got some great bands on it. Yeah. Ash and Crown are playing and so on and so forth. A Rabbit Fest, which... Mm. Um, it's got some great bands on it. Um, Red Method for one are yeah. playing. Are we they played, but we, we, we yeah, yes. um, they're they're the, playing the on the day. Sunday. Yeah, I have no idea of the headline at the moment. Right, but they are playing. I mean, we've played quite a few gigs with them recently, mm. yeah. and they're an absolute storming band. They they murdered it at Bloodstock as well, yeah. by the way. Well done, boys in Red Method. Absolutely killer. Well done. Awesome. Um, 
Um, uh, Rabbit Fest is going to be amazing. I already know who the headliners are on on the, the, the day we're playing, but unfortunately can't say nothing about it at the minute. But I'm fucking excited! Can't tell him it's Metallica. Yeah, no, it's not Metallica, but... Machine Head again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Bad penny, aren't they? They always turn yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit Fest is going to be brilliant. We also got, um, I think we've got a gig with um, our friends in uh, Balls Deep as well hmm. in Stoke. I don't Stoke. know when the date is, but I'm, I love playing with Balls Deep. They're so grand they're really good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing with Balls when they're really deep. <laughs> 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 you can't say shit, can you? Do you know what I mean? Um, we got, uh, well, I don't know what, what it's called, but I'm calling it for the sake of argument Grenfest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, argument. obviously, oh, yeah. Um, it's really sad. Obviously, a friend of ours who was, who was also an inspiration as well, um, who'd been in bands like Metal Messiah, and Metal Messiah were the first band that ever did. But Grem, unfortunately, passed away. He was also in uh, Fueled Hate, who were friends, with, and they've also recorded uh-huh. with you. And he passed away um, a couple of months ago. And uh, there's going to be a Grenfest um, in Corby. I need to find... What's, uh, we've got... Have we got um, we'll put all the dates for all these gigs yeah. we don't know at the bottom yeah, somewhere. Yeah, um, and I, I know there's an awful lot of people that are going to come along and they're going to do a few mm. a few tracks each to... Um, 19th to, of November. That's it. Um, um, t- t- to, to, to pay tribute to Grem. I know Chris Fuller are going to go and do a few tracks. Mm-hmm. Uh, bands like Stormbring are going to go, go and do the same thing. Um, Grem is an integral, or was an integral, part of our music scene. Um, there was a point when there was only one metal band in the county, and they were Metal Messiah, um, and they directly influenced me. Um, and he's been a part of the scene all the way along, um, including with, with Fueled Hate. Um, and, it, it, yeah... Um, massive respect, Graham, uh, up there, wherever you are. Uh, we, we, we're coming to pay respects to you, mate. Fucking live well, music, always. Thank yep. you very much, Graham. Big love. Hmm. So this is the end of the Chris Fuller part of the, um, the podcast. And we've got some special guests coming in now to sort of talk about some things that are coming up in the near future that may be of uh, relevance for you people out there to listen to. Um, and thank you very much for listening so far. Thank you. doing a gig on the 23rd of <laughs> September and so we thought we'd get everybody involved on the podcast so say hello to Sylvain and Aaron and Rob hello dudes and also to John and Dom from Stormbringer and Howdy. obviously Tom Kickoff Kelland and me are from Chris Fuller <laughs> And I've got a look, have a look, and my back phone's fucking switched off. <laughs> <laughs> Funny board my it, phone man. keeps switching off tell us about what you've been up to Sylvain fucking hell um a lot, actually. You know, we went on tour with the guys from Stormbringer at the beginning of the year. Uh, we did Metal to the Masses. And, and we won it. Some yeah, we won, won it. it. That was fucking Yeah, the, the last the leg. So that was, uh, that was good. Any so, good? yeah, recently just played Bloodstock, which was fucking... Mind-blowing. Uh, yeah, surreal I moment. saw you. Yeah, yeah, you were sexy. So did I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was really, really fucking yeah, it was cool. fucking awesome. And, obviously, we've recently just done our... Recorded our debut album as well, so... Who did you do it with? Yeah, who did that? Neil Hudson. Neil Hudson. He's all Who's right. The wizard. Yeah, he's all right. The metal yeah. wizard. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, and... If he if he practices, he'll get good at guitar. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite good at writing your lyrics, though, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, you forget him anyway, so it don't really matter. He does write the theme tune. He does sing the theme tune. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how about Stormbringer? What have you been up to? Um, we played a bit of Aging. tennis. A bit of tennis. Um, <laughs> a bit of crocheting. A bit of cro- yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, don't know, we've been busy though. We've yeah. done a little small tour, say with the Sylvain guys, they came out and played. Yeah, with we us. did that a little earlier in the year. Didn't you, um, br- you brought out an album as well, didn't you? That, no, was, last that was last year. That was last year. Yeah, yeah but. You know, year eight. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Right. We're. Um, done well, didn't it? I liked it. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we, <laughs> sold, we sold one copy and you yeah, bought yeah, it, yeah, so yeah. it was alright. Yeah. So we've, um, we've pretty much come into the end of the cycle for that album, mm. um, finishing it off at the gig at the Roadmender, really. 
Yes, that was a big gig as well. That was cool as fuck, wasn't it? Yeah. Fair. I've got a, yeah, so um, we haven't even played it yet. You're playing <laughs> with it. Oh, no, no, you, the one That's you did for the hour. Yeah, hey, hey. So we're playing the Roman. So um, it says talk gig stories here. Yeah. So gig like, stories. and explain where your name comes from. Sylvain. Uh, did you make it up? No, we kind of made up, but we, we, we wanted a band name that as soon as you type it in, it only brings us up and nothing else, so it doesn't mean nothing. But we was looking at basically uh, bars in uh, New Orleans, because obviously we're very much into the, the okay, southern metal, and there, there was a, a bar that I found called Sylvain, which was C-Y-L. Um, and uh, you liked so Soul you stop, Grave. You, you, I like the village the name for Soul You Grave. stole it, <laughs> but you just like, like He, he <laughs> wanted to call us Soul Grave, and yeah, I man, said, dude. we're not even from Soul Grave, <laughs> so I don't want to call it Soul Grave. So we split the two in half, <laughs> Mashed it together. and we used yeah, the Soul Grave and the Soul Silvain yeah. and put them together. Well, that's, right. that's just that's wonderful. So it actually means nothing, really. But yeah, That's genius. Yeah. So, yeah. Stormbringer, where hmm. did you get your name? Do you bring the storm? Um, pretty much stole it off Deep Purple. I think we picked <laughs> it, uh, it off the Deep Purple album. Well, that'll yeah, do. Yeah. Quite cool. Can't um, find anyone else called that. That'll yeah. do. Back, well, back then we had a real focus on the music and mm. all the peripheral stuff didn't matter anything. That's yeah. why we called the album 2013 because that's when it came out. And yeah. we did it. We just. Yeah, it's just the first thing that sounded good. It's like fucking your 10 year anniversary of like playing gigs and stuff, hasn't it? Um, it's 10 years next year of the first album coming out. The first yeah. album coming out. Well, it's it's, it's um, Chris Fuller's 10 years since we formed yeah. as well yeah, this yeah. year. Which well, is we, part did, of... we did jam with you. I mean, you originally used to come and shout down the microphone when we first started playing. So. Yeah, yeah, you wanted a singer though, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Soft face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we didn't want someone well, I'm, who... I'm categorically <laughs> not that. You shouted a lot and you were always skint, so you weren't really much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm always, I've always been skint, mate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But I'm pretty, so it don't matter. That's, That's right. Without <laughs> you, mate, the band nothing. <laughs> so, Vane, give us your funniest story about gigging. My, most of our funny stories all always involve Sky, because he's... Uh, yeah. Headbutted the mic. Yeah, he headbutts mics, yeah. Uh, so what's stuff. the problem with that? <laughs> the worst thing Does he's he ever done... Does he stand on anyone's feet? No, but he likes to be... Oh, sometimes oh, he, uh, oh, he's a little oh, sick oh, when, he's, like when he's playing a gig. He gets a bit nervous. So Have one, you noticed one, that? One time, stage yeah. turns into yeah. Japan and Honestly, he's Godzilla. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. <laughs> yeah, and uh, w one time he uh, he come running up to the drums while we we're in the middle of playing a song, and uh, he was feeling a little bit sick while he was on stage. But he uh, he had a pint in his hand, and he come right next to my drums, spewed into the pint, drank it, and then carried on going back onto the stage. Yeah, he's a he's a fucking old school soldier oh, doing that. Yeah. But I'm trying to play the drums, and I'm just like. Ugh. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. just yeah. gagging on the gag. Yeah, be sick in the point by all means, but don't drink it afterwards. It just yeah. sounds like a normal Saturday night, no. really, doesn't it? <laughs> no, so, no, that's what so, you did on the so way here, weren't it? Let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's hear some sort of shenanigans. I should have loads. Over the years, I've got loads of stuff. Over the years, going to sleep at eight o'clock, obviously. He won't remember. I should have loads. There are loads. I know there are. It's just whether you can air them. I always like the one where the bird crawled under the stage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then up behind John's drum kit, and then <laughs> under his drum kit, like the grunge, yeah. and then during the gig, and then went, Do you want a pint? I'm sorry. And then, what did she say? She said, You can come back to mine later, and there's a fuck in it for you if you want. Yeah, and I was and then, from the floor, and then also, she's I'm playing sorry. a song. I'm halfway through a song going, a song. Well, I'm just going to ignore this strange person who's laying under my drum kit on the stage, carry it on. Then at the end of the night, she she's just like carried on trying it on. She was like, so what what do you do when you're like after you finished unloading? I was like, well, we sort of go home. She goes, well, you can come back to mine if it's more fun. I was like, I'd rather go home. <laughs> <laughs> the end of that conversation. You could really come back to my house and unload. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to think of something that's like clean. I, I can I think of the time when um, we was we were in Athens with De decapitated and we were driving the bus and the, they left the, the they had the whole of the the, the all the kit in a in a trailer. Hmm. And they were driving around. They were driving around Athens, and it dropped in the middle of the road. Oh, really? <laughs> so we all had to run back and get it. But that's one of them. I mean, I, I, as as um, a member of From Eden to Exile, oh. yeah. Have you got anything from From Eden to Exile as well? There are. Um, 
I mean, it's not that funny, actually, but we played... Well, don't tell me. Hastings. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's, what's not to it's be? not going to be a tragedy, is it? You put him under pressure now. Why <laughs> Hastings? It depends how dark you are, I suppose. But, Pretty um, dark. We played... <laughs> no, we played Ashford the night before and went down straight to Hastings. Yeah. Stayed there a like, lot on the beach front the night. Lovely. Um, got up in the morning and there's a nice like public toilets there. You know, nice freshened up. Toilets. It was nice. It freshened up and whatever. Hastings, if you want to go to the nice public toilets, Hastings, that's the place to go. Place to go, mate. Yeah, really good. Um, I need to know. Sure. I'm going down there in a few weeks. <laughs> Yeah. You're going to finish his funny story. Sorry, yeah, mate. Yeah, sorry. If it ain't my feet, you're standing on my story. <laughs> um, but yeah. Easy. I'm pretty sure Liam had a horrendous shit in there. You're like one, one of them dream well. But anyway, yeah, we then, we then go and get breakfast or whatever, come back to the van, and there's police everywhere. And literally, a guy, while we were all in there, had just died in the toilet. In the and toilet. I'm pretty sure it was Liam's shit. It was yeah. Liam that did it. It was Liam's shit. Yeah. Yeah. Have, you, have you sold was. him a t-shirt before? You were pretty yeah. sure he was eating shit. Well, no. I think he just died in the shit. I think that's oh. a little bit different. Was it Elvis? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think he yeah. was, you know, consuming anything. Okay. I don't know. Who knows? But if he went in after Liam, that's game beautiful. over. Oh, not yeah. Anything really... you want to tell us about Solvain that's going on in the future? In the future, uh, we're just going to take the world over, aren't we? Yeah, it managed to kick the hell out of the debut album. We restarted writing a few bits for the second album as well. We're not going to. How many tracks are you putting on the second album? Uh, mate? Fuck off, John. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an EP. Yeah, this one's going to be an album. It's going to be an extended EP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we're going to aim between ten and twelve, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We've yeah. got two really album, long yeah. songs on the on the first album, haven't we? Huh? We've got two really long songs on the first yeah. album. Yeah. Still only seven. It's, it's not. It's not. It's, Rob, it's, eight. it's eight. not all about the length, off. mate. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. So that. Yeah, that's the plan, man. And just. Yeah, just Literally album number two then. Just on carry on. Have you started writing? Just keep too. playing as many gigs as possible. Have you started possible? writing? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've got we've got some bits going yeah, around already, awesome, so awesome. Just, we just don't want to slow down at all. No, I think like, the main thing for us was when we got to when we got the opportunity to play Bloodstock. It was like mm. you see a lot of bands do it, and then Peter the off after that play, and then they just disappear. This is the thing, and then they go. The next step up, and we just want to keep it going. Spring up, you know. We want to be like, fuck, man, let's do the Sophie stage in the next two years. But the way to do that is you you got to. Well, Build if we're going to do Sophie, yep. it's a fucking big tent. Yeah. And I don't want to play an empty tent. Build so a profile, that's yeah. all you that's can do. Yeah. Just building fan base. I think from what you've already done, it, it, it Yeah, seems mate, in the time like, you've yeah. done, it, mm. you've gone phenomenally well. You've, you've all yeah. come on significantly exactly, as musicians, yeah. as, as performers. No, yeah, it's, been, it's, it's kind of been a pleasure to watch you do it, to be honest, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's absolutely. Yeah. It's nice to see. It's, it's nice to well, see. Well, it is. That's what we were saying at the start. It's nice to see the yeah, future yeah, bands coming through. A lot of people to thank for that as well, not just like, you know, the, our yeah, family Yeah, just coming out on tour with you guys. Yeah, yeah. But it's, oh, like you, it's like you two taking us out on tour with you guys. That's watching John play every night and how loosey-goosey he is on his behind the kit. If they recognise my looseness as well, I mean, from our point of view, I mean, that's that. yeah, it's brilliant. We don't, but what we don't want is it to be hard work and like, oh, well, them out, but it's more like, oh man, they've done, they're not putting the legwork in. What's that? And yeah, exactly, you, we exactly, can see you yeah. guys doing that, so we'll yeah. help you as much as we can, yeah, yeah. as I'm sure these guys will. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah, yeah well, no, I, mean, I mean, obviously, Neil's been a, a big sort he's of. He's been oh, a, yeah, just yeah. a big mentor. Oh, I've yeah, done nothing. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've been at a lot of our big gigs, and that's oh, no, 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 still no, talking about Chris. I don't know why I'm even here to be honest with you. I mean, to be fair, we can only really give you a leg up like that, like from Willow. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's a little bit and we'll do what we can yeah yeah no yeah. well this is it it's, it's, it's about supporting people to sort of move from forwards and it's a good crack know, being out together as well it's not oh, like, yeah, it's, it's not a pain or it's like oh no not that again no, or, yeah, it's, it's just been, a good night every night isn't it so yeah, yeah every night's been yeah, awesome it's man. cool it so, really, really so cool. what's going on with Stormbringer next then come on um well i think we're gonna write another album yeah we are so Sorry. we're pretty much coming to the end of this this yeah. album cycle. Um, we got a few gigs sporadically over the next six months. No, nothing, nothing and major. Yeah, you're planned. playing the uh, main room in the Rome end about on the 23rd of September. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we're not got any sort of run real runs of dates or. <laughs> Who's that with? Yeah, yeah. that's with uh, Chrysler and uh, Solvay. Right, yeah, to yeah. buy your ticket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> again. So, um, but yeah, new album. Rob knows martial arts and shit. Okay, new album. 
is is it's gonna a must, be man. It's, so. it's on the horizon. We got to decide. We got to do five that albums because I want to do a greatest hits album. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Have you started writing it yet? Yeah. Greatest hits album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been working on it for ten years. It doesn't seem to be going too well. Yeah. <laughs> do you want we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna call it. Greatest hits. It. It's not yeah. arrogant. It's yeah. common we're, sense. <laughs> We're actually going to make a greatest hit record. It's yeah. going to be one song, but we haven't managed to do that yet. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll do another album. This, I mean, this one's this one's done what it needed to yeah, do yeah. to justify it's doing fun. another one. So we brilliant. tried different things with this album, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Other, to be fair, right? I mean, like, I think all of us probably like because of uh, the COVID shutdown mm. thing. Mm. I mean, it made me realise just exactly what it is that I missed about being a band when yeah. I wasn't in it. Yeah. Definitely. And regardless yeah. of where your goals are, the actual fact of just being in a band and uh, uh, and and going out and playing with your mates and going yeah. to see people and meeting people up and down the country is um, is its own reward. Mm-hmm. I think that I think that's what I found about the whole thing with COVID and stuff. So mm. yeah, we're all going to carry on doing it because yeah, we're all a little bit mentally sick. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely, <laughs> and yeah. poor. Yeah, yeah. and tired. So, yeah, which yeah. is why we're in a band. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we do it for the the fame, the glory, and all the money. Life would totally fucking suck without being. Is that why we're in a band? Yeah, that's the glory. Yeah, it's the glory. Oh, yeah. glory. It's just, it's just the glory. It's just the glory. The glory. There's no fame money. or money. Yeah. yeah. It's not about the money. I just I like to treat my fans to a you know my face. <laughs> even though, <laughs> even though I've got a paycheck coming from blood stop. <laughs> 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 Okay. What, for the gig when you played? No, is no. that your next album? Because they were playing no, stuff that I was oh, playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in Viking Skull. Yeah. 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 We oh, were yeah. They were playing it in the tent. <laughs> when you were in Viking Skull, you it's started another band <laughs> called... For me. No, <laughs> it's, it's not, right, isn't it? When you were in Viking Skull... I started another band you called started, Snobria. You, no, we didn't. You started another band called uh, A Pointless Side Project. Oh, I mean, it was called a Pointless and, Side Project. And you asked me, I was like, why do I want to play drums in A Pointless Side Project? Because it wasn't a Pointless Side Project. Well, it was, but it's a bit pointless. I didn't actually monitor it that. I know you've already touched on it. How was Bloodstock for you people? Oh, absolutely amazing. Fucking surreal. Yeah. Man, it was it mental, was mental. The turnout was insane. Um, it was really, really cool to see a lot of faces, familiar faces that we saw in the crowd from, you know, from, you know, you guys and half, felt like half of Wellingborough and Northampton were there, to be fair. And to be I fair, like, like touching, yeah. touching base on that is like, you know, we're, I think we're super fortunate to have the fan base that we have. Because even yeah. like going back to like Metal to the Masses, you know, we had to compete in Leicester because that was the closest one to mm, us. Mm. Now, bearing in mind, that's a good 50 minute, an hour up the road. And when we were doing the heats, you know, we uh, the semi finals, we had nearly 30 people come up on a Sunday night. Yeah, it's you know, and yeah, the, it's the good. finals, it's we like had the, the t shirts, like new bands coming like through. Like yeah, the yeah. future. There was a load yeah. of so. I've, act, I've still got to buy a t shirt, so. God. Yeah, I mean, we can sort that out. I know, we saw that. Yeah, out, yeah. yeah. No, no, I'll definitely yeah. fucking. I'll, so, I'll buy but a t-shirt. Not only that, when when we when we played at uh, Bloodstock, we had a lot of uh, bands come to support us as well. Yeah, didn't like we? you know, we had the Bad Earth guys. We had uh, Tribal Ghosts. Tribal Ghosts turned up to support us. With, you know, Tribal Ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. they they, oh, man, yeah, they blew Ghosts. me away. Those yeah, boys, as yeah. you did yeah. as well. Yeah, oh man, Planet for Tell came. Well, we've known. I mean, Adam's from round here anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a lovely lad as well. And oh my god, they're amazing. Super talented. Yeah, guys from Net Harmony, Silk Whatever the can never say the name. Oh, Sinkaloma. Yeah, Sinkaloma. Yeah, they oh, came yeah, to watch yeah, us. Yeah, cool, and yeah, cool. Pelugian as well, which was awesome because I'm a massive Pelugian fan and they and came to watch really us. Cool. Brilliant band, really cool they? seeing them go from the new blood and yeah. then to the sofa stage as well, which is really, really cool. Yeah. So, same question to Stormbringer. I mean, it's going back a few years now, but you you, you opened up the uh, main we stage. We did. We played the Roddy Jones Day stage. 2013? Uh, like, like you guys do. I think it was 2014, I think. 20, no, no, it's I know, 2013. It might have been 13 when the album yeah, it was came out. It was when the album came out. 2013. Yeah. And man, that was a good buzz. We were playing yeah. with like Lamb of God and they Slayer for, on they the Sunday. They asked Sunday for your and... autographs, didn't they? Well, they That's did, it. but I didn't really <laughs> go off. I, I didn't we really want to sign that day. We actually traded riders. We did. We did, didn't you? Yeah, gave them a load of weed and they gave us a load of their beer. I mean, I saw it as well. I know it's epic. It was, it was, it was absolutely but a great epic. buzz. It's an awesome yeah, yeah. festival. Yeah. Well, you know yourself. You guys have done it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, this well. is it. Well, I mean, I mean, like, um, did you, 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 did you play it? We played play Bloodstock, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the new blood. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you did, did with me. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we've all, we've all, we've all kind of done it, and I mean, like Bloodstock's quite possibly like the the best. Definitely, metal yeah. festival mm. in the country yeah, for bringing definitely. on new bands. I mean, there's not. I've like said the support. I, I mean, I've, I've said it. Quite it's a, a real first there, though, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone's there because yeah. they want to be. Yeah. It's a proper yeah, festival. Yeah, 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 yeah. They want to see music. It's cool. So we went. We had a great time, didn't we? 
Oh yeah, well we went, we went this year, didn't we? So, yeah. I mean, we went partly to see Solvay. Yeah, yeah. we went for the weekend. Things. So Bloodstock, Bloodstock fucking rules. Yeah, Everybody man. agrees yeah, with that motherfucker. And all, all of the staff awesome, look after you. You know, yeah. like yeah. The, dr the drum tech and the you know sound oh, guys yeah, and things man. like. Literally, I, I didn't know, know what to do awesome. myself. I'm used to setting all my kit up myself, and I mm. did it all, and I was just standing yeah. there going, Good what, "What do I need to do?" And I don't need to do nothing. And it really took the edge off, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. All well, you got to worry about is playing instead of worrying about setting your kit yeah, up yeah. and having time. They just make you feel right at home, don't they? Make yeah. you feel like a professional. You yeah, know? it really is. Well, that's that's like I think cool if you thing. if you if you play Bloodstock, you've earned the right to play Bloodstock, yeah. and therefore you are in a league where you are professional enough that it, 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 it where it warrants that sort of attention yeah. to you doing it. Yeah, you know that if you've been through the metal to the masses, then you've proved yourself to be worthy of that sort of. Hmm. You know, because it's quite a rigorous test, isn't it? Yeah, really definitely. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, the yeah. bands who we were played up against in the heats were all, all really good, the weren't they? The standard was like unbelievable. Insane. So I like the way insane. you guys are doing it as well. You sort of like old school playing your playing your dues almost, like going out doing the circuit. Definitely, you know, I think, the, I think that's the way to do it these days. Not, day not expecting man. like to go, oh, I want this or I want that. Yeah, no, you're no, doing no, it all probably around wheel. You go around, you go around all the smaller venues, and you play. And this is what I love about Bloodstock. Yeah, you what you do, you go around and you play all the smaller venues, and then when you do get to play a stage at Bloodstock, yeah. You see all the people that you played in those smaller yeah. venues, and it becomes and like there. a bigger. It's the same scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful yeah, thing, yeah, to yeah. be fair. Yeah, yeah. So let's bring this on to uh, the main reason why we got you chaps together. We're doing a gig on the twenty third of September at the Roadmender, yeah. and that's yeah. what we yeah. wanted to do. We wanted yeah, yeah. to, yeah, we man. wanted to push the Northampton bands thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and and those bands that played the Bloodstock thing. So mm. that's what we've brought you all together. So the Roadmender thing, John, you're mm. the man that's um, throwing the whole deal up. Talk to me. Uh, sort of. I mean, not really. I mean, it's, it, it, me and Dom spoke originally, we chatted to you, and yeah, then yeah. it was all like, hang on a minute, we, we all want to do this, let's do it together. And the Solvain boys, obviously, we've played with them for the last sort of six months a year on, on the other shows. And I mean, it's yeah. just we, a brilliant chance I mean, to we, put all three bands together yeah, and do yeah, a gig. I think the idea was yeah. that we got the next generation. Oh, absolutely. Oh, we're, 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 we're firm believers. We, of, origin, of doing we originally that. were yeah. only doing do the two bands, yeah. exactly. if you remember. Yeah. And, and um, we, 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 and we, and we brought it out. Ignore, but, well, they, that, this is the problem. They are hard to ignore. That's what we try and do. Social media and things like that, we just like being in people's faces. They are hard to ignore. And as AD said a minute ago, it's another fucking brethren to the to the blood bloodstock alumni, yeah. if you like. Yeah. And um, well, I mean, we all go to uh, we all go to local gigs ourselves yeah. to, yep. to go and watch yeah, bands. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, we've been to see Solvain and Solvain is in to see us and mm. Stormbringer and the, from into the Exile yeah, Boys yeah, as well. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's it's a proper scene. So we thought we'd try and represent that scene yeah. out yeah. the road, man, didn't we? Yeah. 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 So like that's it's the great, whole. Because we all get on. We, we all like. There's no. Yeah. No animosity, no. Yeah, no, and, and no, no, no. with We're the kit thing, ship, like, no, we've got three, like, I oh, know, oh, yeah, no, sorry, we've got two right handed drummers and a left handed drummer, which is a massive pain. <laughs> <in the house>. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, like, like, everything's really good. Really Come on, <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like out. having stabilizers on your chopper. <laughs> <laughs> Them, but, we'll, but we'll work around it. <laughs> he's, got, he's got the video, so this is probably going to get wiped. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna, it's definitely going to edit that out. Yeah. Yeah. Cut that bad boy out. But yeah, so Roadmender, um, we want to fucking sell as many well, tickets as possible, don't we? we? Yeah, We've no, done it a couple of times at Stormbringer when mm. Sylvain um, was um, main support last time we did it. Yeah. And yep. a couple yeah. of times we've done it, we've had really, really good crowds. Yeah. Um, but we've always been that one step away from like the full sellout so yeah. we thought well let's, let's get the Chris the boys on on board it, 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 there's no reason why we shouldn't I mean okay it's, the music's a little bit different no but it all comes from the same place <laughs> well I mean we've all been in bands together yeah, haven't we? Do you know yeah, what I mean absolutely. this is the thing we've, yeah. all, we've all, all been bands together yeah. over the years yeah but I mean, like, obviously, with um, everything that's going on in the world at the moment, I mean, people haven't got a lot of money, but a tenner for free bounce yeah. Yeah. at the road, man, now? Yeah. Like, free blood stop, this man. is the yeah, plug, yeah. right? Get your tickets now. Don't Do wait it. till the night. because. Sylvain say. <laughs> Do get them. Cool. Do get them, or I'll come round and I'll knock on your door, and you yeah. don't want that. Stormbringer say. Yeah. It's got a big knock. Buy right. tickets. Buy tickets. <laughs> You got to do it. We, you got to do it. We can't rely on just people turning up on the night as well. We have to like secure these venues. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, the yeah. only so way to keep these sort of shows going is to buy pre-sale tickets 
Keep um, the venues alive. Keep the venue man. alive. Yeah. Keep, keep the gig on. Alive. This, is, this is very yeah. important what yeah. John's saying. Yeah. And kick off Kellen says if you don't buy tickets, He'll kick off. then he will kick off. <laughs> <laughs> and and he will that. kick off for £12 when you can buy a ticket for a tenner. So it's, it's yeah. well worth the pre sale. I think nice. literally as well, this is going to be yeah. a proper a celebration of Northamptonshire oh, yeah. music. So Definitely. come along and have a fucking party yeah. for a Do tenner. It. But we have, I've been talking to a lot of people who say, oh, I'm coming to the gig, but they're going to pay on the night. Yeah, right. We really do need to buy pre sale tickets. It does keep that. That yeah. venue uh, alive and secure. Well, yeah. To be fair, they need to know how many people are coming so they can put staff on, don't That's they? Right. Yeah, yeah, and right, if yeah. the staff, if, if if the tickets aren't sold, then the staff won't be employed, so we'll end up sort of scaling back. So yeah. get your tickets. Yeah, we don't want to scale on. this one back. This no, no, it's, no, it's, it's yeah. three yeah. awesome bands. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever band. happens, we'll be fucking playing anyway, and yeah, yeah. we'll be banging. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, Damn straight. Yeah. And if you're not there, you're gonna miss out. Exactly. So give yourselves a round of applause, gentlemen. We're talking <laughs> yeah. rubbish. Yeah. But thank you very much for coming along. <laughs> Fucking Stormbury is so bad. So if you want to come and see a pointless side project and you want to spend 10 quid, <laughs> 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 come and see Sylvain and Chrysler and the pointless side <laughs> yeah. project. The Roadmender. Buy 23rd, tickets. September. I really it's want to. be kick-ass. Yeah. Do it, man. Good night. Good night.